my loverlies. Hello, hello, hello. Um, we are going to make a crock pot meal. And I know you have your water. Hmm. Yeah, it's kind of a mess here behind me, so I'm gonna keep it blocked out of the way. We are gonna make a hungry girl slow cooker chicken stroganoff. If it comes out as good as it sounds, I will be delighted. You guys are way, way, way up there. Way up there. Look what's right behind you. Wanna see what's right behind you? I know you do. Oh, dun dun dun. Welcome. They weigh heavily on my ears, and you all know how my ears bother me. Instead of calling me Anita, you can all start calling me Abe, because I feel like I have the ears of Abe Vagoda. So I can't wear these earrings often, because, well, that's not helping my plight very much now, is it? <laughs> Ready to cook? Ready to make some food? I am. It's, it's, uh, it's November the 2nd and it's 120 degrees out. It's so warm out, you guys. I just wish it would cool off. All right, let me show you what you're gonna need. Okie dokie dokie, salt and pepper, mushrooms, zucchini. I don't have a spiralizer, but I do have a Trader Joe's and this is just the easier way to do it. Cornstarch, au jus gravy, chicken, light cream cheese, and an onion. I forgot to buy an onion, but I didn't want to forget to tell you to buy an onion. So I put an apple there to remind me. Are you just so clever? All right, let's get cooking. Okay, kids, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our au jus mix, not the whole packet. Make sure you read the directions. And a third a cup of water. And we're just gonna mix that on up in there. Also, get, get your liner. I forgot in the ingredients to put liner in. All right, now we're gonna add our mushrooms, our onion, our chicken. I don't have this camera in a very good spot, do I? And our salt and our pepper. Pepper, salt. So now we are going to cover it up. Why does my camera feel warm? That's so odd. Oh, you can see it from there. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. All right, let's cover it up. Oh, let's put it in the actual cooker. Good job, Anita. Thanks, Anita. Oh, Steve is gonna be so thrilled when he gets home. <laughs> I bought these and I've never used them. <laughs> oh yeah, two tablespoons of water. See what happens when it's not an all at one time thing my Hoosier. So we're gonna mix that up. So Sandy, we got some mail today. Tell Oliver, tell Sandy what you got. But we, we want, I'm sorry, hold it this way because we don't want to show any addresses. Yeah, you can. You're smart enough to read that. What's that name? Sophia. Sophia. Mitchell and she lives all the way in Michigan Sandy, Michigan's cool Michigan's cool so Sandy's granddaughter and my grandson they're gonna be pen pals and we think that that's just about the coolest thing ever right you guys should be pen pals we are pen pals really? yeah who me and Sophia or me and Sandy me and Sandy are pen pals through the interwebs, through the internet, through the YouTube, as the kids like to say. We need to pause while Oliver reads his note, and then we'll be back. Can I? Okay, we'll do it. Ah. Hey, how awesome is it? You're going to be pen pal with somebody all the way to Michigan? I will write back. And you will speak up a little bit so they can come in here and wait. I will write back. <laughs> She has yeah. really nice printing, doesn't she? Sophia, you have great printing, my love. You're lucky, I have terrible printing. But you won't, know, when you write your letter to her, you'll make, see, look at, see how she has these nice spaces between all of her words? Well, to have good, like, uh, printing, I need dotted lines in the middle. You do? It needs to go in a special spot. 
because this is special to Nana. I know you're a guy oh, no, and I'm goofy. Don't I like uh, right back on the other side of it? No, no, you save this. You sit this next to what you write and always save this because when you grow up, you might meet Sophia someday in Michigan or California and you guys can whip out your letters and go, look at us when we were eight and nine years old. God, I swear. <laughs> Oh. That was an accident. I was laughing. <laughs> Bye, guys. I love you. Okay, I'm doing 25 million things today. And unfortunately for you guys, you have to be part of it. All right, so it's said to take the chicken out of the crock pot. These are bear claws that I bought on Amazon. We're going to add our cream cheese. Oh. Now we are going to return the chicken. And we're going to add the zucchini. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Trader Joe's, for making these all ready to go. Hi. Hi. Okay, so. Uh, uh, my dinner is done and out of the crock pot, and I have it here. I'm about to put some Parmesan on it, just a little bit, get just a skosh, if you will. Oh, you want to take a look? Hang on. Here we go, guys. This is the chicken stroganoff by Hungry Girl. I did not have high hopes for this. I don't know why, I just didn't. It is super delicious. It's so delicious. It, I mean, it's it's really good. That's all I can say. If you're a stroganoff person and you're missing it, mm. now it calls for. I'm gonna eat this bread and I'm gonna regret. It calls for um, spirals of the zucchini, spiralizer. What are they called? Spiral, spiral, sp you know what they're called? I don't need to tell you. Anyways, Trader Joe's did it for me and amen, brother, sister, everybody above because Steve would do it for me. This was just so much better. This is so good, but I'm afraid to eat this because as you all know, I gained Two pounds this week. Oh yeah. Parmesan, if you're gonna put it on this, measure it out. Measure it, weigh it, track it. I'm just so pleasantly surprised. I'm just really happy that it turned out good. Love you. Drink your water. Catch you later.